Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Octio Studio and today I'm sharing with you a collage that I made on a Canva board from Canson. This is a tablet that has these um, kind of like tag board pieces inside of it all stuck together and then they, they have a pressed paper that looks like canvas on the top and I just cut this one off from the pad and um, going to use it for collage. So you'll recognize some of these papers from the last couple days where I've been making painty papers out of just, you know, uh, some papers that had paint on them that I wasn't happy with and I used different mark making tools to change them a little bit. And some of them are deli paper like this one that I'm putting on right now. Others are um, lightweight papers like from the printer. This one is actually a piece of paper that someone sent me in Happy Mail, and I'm not sure what's on it. Kind of feels like crayons, like uh, waxy crayons, but it wasn't at all water soluble. So whatever's on it, stain on it. And I put that one on. Um, I was trying to use the ones that I made in the last couple days, but I and I did use that mostly, but I did throw in some other other pieces of paper from here and there. I had some neutral papers like dictionary paper and uh, stuff like that that I grabbed. I had some, what else did I have? Oh, I had a postcard that had a collage, a uh, print of a collage on it from Stencil Girl from Mary Beth Shaw. I used that I cut up that and used a few little tiny pieces of it. That's kind of fun to use someone else's art in your art. Um, of course, she didn't give me permission to do that, but they're printed postcards that they send out with their packaging. So to me, it's just packaging. And it had some interesting shapes on it that I cut out in little tiny bits. Didn't use the whole thing. I just used little pieces of it. And... Um, I also used a few scraps probably that I just had laying around, but mostly I used the papers that I made in the last couple days because that was the challenge today on Art Joy of Sharing live stream with Peg Robinson. Uh, we did our live stream today and the subject was abstract collage because when I was making those painty papers last week on the live stream, someone said that they would like to see me make a collage. Well, this one is more whimsical than abstract. It's not realistic, obviously, because it's got a lot of pattern and shape and color, but you can tell what it is. Um, sometimes abstracts are just that. They're completely abstract and you, you get maybe an emotion or a feeling or an idea from it and you interpret it in the way that you want to, which may not have been at all what the artist intended. On my collage today, you can see what I intended. You can understand what it is without um, me having to tell you or, you know, it's just, it's more literal than abstract. So abstract wasn't exactly exactly what happened today. <laughs> That's how things go. This is the, the collage and the art piece that I felt like making today. This is what I was thinking about. And so that's what came out um, rather than more pieces that that you would have to interpret yourself. So it's abstract id, but not abstract. There's a difference. <laughs> so I'm taking the different pieces of paper that I have and I'm cutting little squares and rectangles and rectangles with tops on them to make some houses. And I mean, we're all aware of what's going on right now. We're all, probably most people in the world at this point are have been told by their government in some way, whether it was a recommendation, whether it was a mandate, whether it was just a good idea to stay inside and uh, stay away from other people, keep your social distance to try to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 virus. This is so, it's just, it's everywhere in my house. The people downstairs are watching the TV constantly and I can't get away from it. Um, I know that I need to stay inside and that's not usually a problem for me at all because I'm an introvert, I like to stay inside. But tell me I can't do something and then we have a problem. So um, I've been a little bit antsy, I've been off my game, I've been, I've lost focus. And um, this is what I wanted to collage about today. This is what I wanted to, uh, to represent is all of us all over the world being inside our houses. And of course, these are colorful houses. 
My house, in reality, is what you would refer to as a baked potato house. It's brown on the outside. It's white on the inside, and it's not that colorful. Uh, you would think I would make a, ha a colorful house, but I live in a, a neighborhood where there's an association, and you paint your house the color that they say. I mean, they give you they give you a, a range of tans and dusty greens and dusty pinks to choose from, but ultimately it's some sort of brown. Almost all, all the houses are. So I have a lot of art up on the walls, but I've never really painted my walls in particularly bright colors either because every time I do that, I get bored with it. It's like, you know, I painted a, a red and a yellow wall downstairs and I'm bored with them. I need to paint over them. That's just that's just what happens. So uh, I don't have very colorful stuff on the inside. It's better to put art up on the walls than to paint the entire wall and then have to paint it over again when you get bored with it. I guess that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I guess decorating is not my thing. I don't know. Um, so I have my basic Liquitix matte gel medium. This is a thicker medium and it is a matte finish so it's not shiny when it dries, but it does dry clear. This is what I like to use for collage. Um, I might try some heavy gel medium from Golden the next time I purchase just because a lot of people seem to like that. And I don't know how it could be that much different than what I'm using, but maybe it is a little bit different. It's also matte, it's also a gel. But I definitely know that I don't want something fluid. Um, I use fluid medium occasionally, and I use it for very thin tissue-like papers. And then for everything else, I use the gel format because it's, it sticks in place, and I can put some on the front, some on the back, and then stick it down, put it over the top, and everything smooths out easily. Uh, I do have a gift card or credit card to scrape with if something's got a bubble in it and I want to make sure that it's scraped down. I have my Distress Collage brush which I go over the top of each piece to uh, push the bubbles out and um, make sure that it's stuck down. And I have another glue brush that I didn't end up using and then I did have a glue stick with me just in case. Um, I ended up using the matte gel medium the whole time, but I thought maybe on some of the tiny, tiny pieces that I might put on, I would use the glue stick and then go over it with the matte medium just to make sure it's down. But I didn't end up doing that, so it's just there. I have some scissors. Uh, oftentimes when I'm collaging, I tear all my pieces. Either just tear them freehand or tear them with a metal ruler if I want to make a straight line. I like the look of torn things. Uh, it's more natural and organic looking, but in this case, houses are straight lines, <laughs> or straight-ish lines in my case, and so um, I was using the scissors instead of tearing out my shapes. So I'm putting some roof lines on some of them. I've, I've put mostly pointy, these are mostly pointy buildings. This isn't a city. Uh, you know, if I had made a city, they would have been tall rectangles with maybe some squares in them. Um, not going for that this time. I'm going for more like just an idea of, of homes kind of spread out across the country or across the world. That's the reason that I made these hill shapes um, at the beginning and um, with bigger, larger pieces of my painty papers. This piece down in the bottom right hand corner has some some triangular shapes and scribble shapes uh, with a china marker and those remind me of paths or roads or things on a map. So I was happy with that actual piece at the bottom. And then uh, the middle piece in the background has has a bunch of letter shapes stacked on top of each other, but it's giving kind of linear shapes as well. So those are reminiscent of a map or a road. So I was happy with that too. The one at the top is very organic. It has that uh, kind of scribbly veiny look in different colors, which I thought was kind of neat. And it's got some blues and, and greens into it. And uh, kind of almost, it almost looks like lightning. 
a little bit. Uh, maybe it's a little bit stormy. I don't know. But yeah, just having fun with pattern and color and shape and getting all these little houses built. I also needed to build some trees and um, because in our neighborhoods and towns, trees are often what you see. I didn't make any cactuses here. Here, the tall cactuses are what we think of as trees. We do have a couple other kinds of trees, but it's very limited. And um, I don't know, I guess I could have put some cactus over there. Actually, that would have been cute. Maybe I'll go back and do that. Put a couple cactuses on that kind of, of off-white colored hill over there. That would have been, that. that's smart. I'm going to do that. <laughs> You won't see it, but I'm going to go put a few saguaro cactuses uh, over on that, on the right-hand side to the top near the sunshine, because that'll represent my state better than uh, these regular looking trees. I guess I should have made some Santa Fe style houses too, or California style houses with the red roofs. I don't know. Anyway, I was just cutting and gluing. I was not thinking thinking that hard about it. You know what I'm saying? It's cutting and gluing. So I got trees, I've got houses, I've got all kinds of roof lines there in all different colors and uh, mostly square rectangle and triangle shapes. Then I start adding some other pieces over the top um, in, on some of them, some smaller pieces that have different grids on them, different things that have been stenciled or printed. It's just a lot of fun. A lot of fun. That's what this is all about today. Having some fun and uh, talking to friends. Of course, this was during the live stream, so there was people in the chat. You can always go and watch the real-time live stream recorded over on our Art Joy of Sharing channel. And of course, I'll put a link to this video um, in the description box below the video as well as in the iCard up in the right hand side and um, there'll be other links to other videos that might be similar to this and then uh, if you want you can go watch that real time video if you prefer it not be sped up like this is this is uh, either sped up four times or eight times in different areas because it, when I condensed it down to four times fast like I normally do it was almost 30 minutes long so I needed to take 10 minutes out because I try to make these videos about 20 minutes long on my channel. That's my own personal rule. So then once I was done with my collaging I took a Stabilo All pencil. This is a, a water soluble graphite pencil in the color black. It is highly water reactive and it blends very easily and then I'm using my small round tip uh, Pentel water brush and blending all my my lines that I'm putting on there with black. Um, I mean, you know, I'm kind of an illustrator. <laughs> I like lines around things and that's my style and I just need to not fight it. So I wanted to put the lines around them. I want it, I just make, it makes me happy to put lines around things. But I am making blurry lines or watery lines by blending that pencil out with the water brush. Stabilo All Pencil and a water brush, not a very expensive art tool. Uh, today, well not just today, but for the month of April we are talking about art tools in our Art Jar of Sharing art community. I'll put a link to that community you can ask to join um, down in the box below the video where it says show more down there. You can go and ask to join. Make sure that if you ask to join, you remember to answer the three questions because we will not let you join unless you've answered the questions so that we can keep out spammers and people who are trying to sell things. It's just all about art and sharing just like the name. So now I have my white Posca pin. That's an acrylic pin, acrylic paint pin. You know I love my Posca pins. And I am doing some highlights. I guess I went back to the black again, but um, alternating back and forth, adding a highlight or maybe even some pattern a little bit with a white Posca pin, and then blending that pin also 
with the water brush. If you get to it before it dries, and it dries very quickly, but if you get to it before it's 100% dry, you can blend a Posca pen as well, and it's it's just acrylic paint inside a pen. So you get a little bit of blendy blendy with it, and that's a fun thing to do. That's like one of my new fun techniques is blending acrylic paint pens, and you'll see it. You'll see it. <laughs> probably already seen it and you'll see it some more because I've just been really loving that lately. I like the ability to apply the paint, um, you know, where I want it. And so having the paint inside a pen lets me put it exactly where I want it. And then I can paint, I can make it, make it look more painterly and blended with the water. And that just makes me happy. Just makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. So I like to do that. So that's what I'm doing with the white. And then I end up, end up coming in with some other colors of Posca. I'm not sure. We're probably getting there pretty soon. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of sameness in this this video, but it's also interesting to watch uh, how I hop around and work on different sections at different times. Amazingly, I didn't get my hands very dirty. There, there's a lot of glue on them, but there's not very much of anything else on my hands so that's cool so back to the black again I'm uh, continuing um, putting on my illustration my blendy illustration lines almost done with that just had one little section left I think right before this is when we turned off the live stream so I didn't make the entire thing on the live stream I had to finish it up after we turned it off it's only an hour and a half that we do live streaming so don't always get my project completely done in a live stream so then i get my black fine tip posca pen and now i'm starting to draw things um, i'm not blending with this i'm drawing uh, with the black it's the fine tip so it's not the extra fine tip with the little metal on it it's just the fine tip and it makes a fairly fine line drawing some things on and then I get out some of my other colors of Posca I have the naturals set on the left and then the one on the right is the set of um, I think it's 16 or 18 medium tip multicolors that I have and I'm applying those still using the white here and there and then in some cases maybe blending a little bit um, probably not very much at this point now I'm adding I'm adding texture and um, shape in a more defined way with these pins <clears throat> that one looked like it had a fence in front of it so I kind of highlighted it's maybe a, a picket fence across the front of the house a lot of people have fences around their house that their dog can stay in or their kids can stay in so it's a thing you might see making different color doors I've if I had I, here would be a fun thing to do right you know it is it's only April 2nd April Fool's <laughs> we could go <clears throat> around my boring baked potato house and make every door a bright color wouldn't that be cool bright orange and bright turquoise and bright yellow I would I would love it if my entire neighborhood had bright bright doors so I was putting on some bright doors onto my little houses. <clears throat> they don't. Their houses, their doors are brown or white, you know, off-white, the same as the houses. I need to go live somewhere colorful. Because <laughs> it isn't going to happen here in my neighborhood. They, you would get nasty grams and they'd be like, you didn't use the right color for your house. <clears throat> How dare you? So this video is just about over. I'm, I'm getting done with my little houses. Now I'm adding some color that might make some of the roofs that were a real different color blend in more with the house, the color of their house. Just a couple of them were like that. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment or question below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, turn on your notification bells uh, so that you get notified when there's a fresh new video. You can share this on Pinterest or on Facebook. And if this is your last video for the day, could you please click over to someone who has 2 million views on their video and just watch it for a couple minutes and then 
then um, go away from YouTube um, so that I don't get punished for sending you away from YouTube. <laughs> anyway, that is it for me for our We Are Home um, collage for today. Thanks. Bye-bye.